In a world where scientists often resemble mad wizards more than lab coat-wearing researchers, they've now turned their attention to a project straight out of a sci-fi movie, bringing extinct animals back to life. Forget Jurassic Park, this is the real deal, but with hopefully fewer T-Rex-related incidents. So grab your binoculars and your disbelief as we introduce you to 10 animals that scientists are trying to bring back from the annals of history. From woolly mammoths that could soon be shaking their tusks in the tundra to passenger pigeons potentially overcrowding our bird feeders again, this is not your average biology lesson. Buckle up for a wild ride through time as we explore the who's who of the animal kingdom's comeback kids. Woolly Mammoth Imagine mammoths with their shaggy coats and curving tusks roaming the Siberian tundra once again. Scientists are using CRISPR technology to splice mammoth DNA with that of their closest living relatives, the Asian elephants. The goal is not just to bring back a species, but also to combat climate change. The mammoths, by their natural activities like trampling and grazing, could help restore the grasslands of the Arctic, which in turn could help trap methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Passenger Pigeon Once the most numerous bird in North America, the passenger pigeon went extinct in the early 20th century due to overhunting and habitat destruction. Using genetic editing, scientists are trying to resurrect the species by modifying the DNA of its closest living relative, the band-tailed pigeon. The hope is to understand more about genetic diversity and ecosystem impacts, as passenger pigeons played a significant role in their habitats. Tasmanian Tiger, Phyllison. This carnivorous marsupial, native to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, was hunted to extinction in the 20th century. Scientists are studying its DNA, preserved in museum specimens, with the hope of one day using gene editing to bring it back. The Phyllison, with its unique biology and ecological role, could provide invaluable insights into marsupial biology and the ecosystems they inhabited. Dodo, the dodo, a flightless bird native to Mauritius, became extinct in the 17th century due to human exploitation and introduced predators. While resurrecting the dodo is more challenging due to the limited availability of DNA, scientists are intrigued by the possibility. The dodo's resurrection could provide key learnings about island ecosystems and the impacts of human colonization on native species. Pyrenean Ibex Bucado. In a groundbreaking experiment, a Pyrenean ibex was cloned in 2003, but the clone died shortly after birth. This species, which lived in the Pyrenees between France and Spain, went extinct in 2000. The attempt at cloning marked a significant step in the dead extinction field, highlighting both the possibilities and the challenges of bringing back extinct species. Quagga a subspecies of the plain zebra of the quacker was native to South Africa and went extinct in the late 19th century. The Quagga Project, an ambitious attempt started in the 1980s, aims to bring back the quagga's distinctive appearance only the front part of the body was striped through selective breeding of zebras. Stella's sea cow, this enormous marine mammal, related to the manatee and dugong, was hunted to extinction in the 18th century. While its resurrection is currently beyond our genetic capabilities, scientists are interested in the Stella's sea cow as its comeback could help understand the dynamics of marine ecosystems and the impact of human hunting on large marine mammals. Great Orc A large, flightless bird that once populated the North Atlantic, the Great Orc went extinct in the mid-19th century. Efforts to bring it back focus on understanding its genetic makeup and potentially using gene editing on a close relative, the razorbill. The great orc's return could shed light on the ecological roles of large seabirds. Heath hen, a small grouse that was once common in the eastern United States, the heath hen became extinct in 1932. Revival efforts could not only bring back a lost species, but also contribute to the biodiversity and ecological health of the American woodlands. Huia, this bird from New Zealand, known for its distinct sexual dimorphism in beak shape, was driven to extinction in the early 20th century. Reviving the Huia would not only be a scientific marvel, but also a significant cultural achievement, 
as the bird holds great significance in Maori culture,